Hello and welcome to World 2 of Super Nunu World. If you're wondering where World 1 is, World 1 I actually played through the levels like a couple of months ago. It was one of my Mario Maker Monday showcase levels um, and I was just playing the World 1 as sort of a sneak preview to the world. Um, but since then the whole Super World has come out. I've already played through World 1 again. There's no sense in playing it again or showing you because we've already seen it. Nothing had changed there. Um, the cool unique thing about this world is that each level has a boss of some kind. So we are in world two. Looks like we are underground. Let's get started. See what awaits us. Pipeline property. So this super world, it's made up of all different styles. Um, I can't even remember if there are collectibles to collect. I know playing through world one, I did see some, some uh, like big coins and stuff to collect, but I wasn't really too focused on that, honestly. So I couldn't say for sure. But here we have a 10 coin, so that must mean something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Star time. Come on, give me some things to kill with my star. There's, there's not even enough stuff to get an extra life. No. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's keep going. Is this our World 2 boss? I know that uh, Nunu was keeping me updated with like a lot of the different things that they were making throughout the Super World. Honestly though, those comments were from like a couple months ago, so I honestly can't remember like in terms of like the bosses and stuff what to expect. Um, but I know that they put a lot of thought and care into this world, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing through it. Alright, let's see what we have awaiting us here. Level 2. My god, Mario Maker, load faster. Holy jeez, there we go. Bone Setting Burrow. This, uh, this better not mean dry bones. Oh, well, there's the dry bones. <laughs> oh god, Super Mario World dry bones. My least favorite of all the dry bones. In the Dry Bone Kingdom. That's right, I bet you didn't know there's a whole kingdom of Dry Bones. Were those platforms supposed to move? I feel like they were supposed to be stationary. Well, I mean, all the other ones have been so far, so... I don't know. Woof! Did not think I was going to make it. Yes! This must mean a boss. Or upside down. <laughs> God, so many dry bones. There's no way for me to avoid that. And those dry bones have such a huge hitbox on them. Oh god, I hate their bones so much. I hate when they throw the bones. Alright, so maybe I should do like the further away ones first. Before I do any of the closer ones. I don't know why, I just feel more confident in doing that. Ah, god. No! <laughs> no, I was holding on! I was holding on to the vine! I was pressing the button, the hold on button. Luigi, why you no hold on? So yeah, just thinking back to World 1, the bosses were kind of hit and miss for me. Some of them were really cool. Like, for example, there was the, the shell one where you had to lower the, um, 
the donut blocks and then come on fall down there we go you had to uh, lower the donut blocks and then a spike so now what oh, okay um and then a spike ball would come down and you had to um guide the spike ball into the koopa den area there's a part two to this why 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 is there part two i don't like this oh god um yeah that boss was really cool pretty unique something i've never really seen before but then some of them were like waiting for 50 seconds for like no oh, the bone um like waiting 50 seconds for just for a thing to activate and i was just standing underneath two goombas that were jumping back and forth and that one was kind of boring because i was just standing there for like a minute so they were kind of hit and miss overall like there was one where you had to push a a bully down a cliff which you know fair enough easy enough basic boss but then, yeah, some of the ones where you just had to wait and wait and wait, those ones weren't necessarily the best. Also, it, it would be nice to know, like, how long you have to wait for some of them. But, like, for some of them, like, 50 seconds where you're just standing there, like, it just... It's way too long. Is there, like, a hidden mushroom here or something? That would be really nice. I don't think so, though. Okay. Let's focus up here. Okay, I'm still safe. Still safe. Go. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. Go. Oh, last one. I should have gone there. And nuts. Alright, there we go. I managed to keep my mushroom the whole time this time too. Just a little bit more careful. Come on, get down here. Perfect. Hopefully that was the only one I had to get rid of. Excellent. Not a bad level overall. The boss kind of threw me off a bit because I wasn't expecting it to be so long, but... Yeah, overall, pretty good level. Alright, let's move on. Level 3 coming up. Looks like we're going underwater for level 3. So I mentioned a few weeks ago about how we were changing like cable and internet providers and all that. Well, none of us here at home have been happy with that cable provider. Um, the service just wasn't the greatest and we were honestly kind of misled with what they promised. So we're actually changing back today, back to our old provider. Um, which will hopefully be good, but also I hope that in terms of like internet quality and stuff that it doesn't go back to the way it was because honestly the internet wasn't the greatest. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, but it's just, it'll be nice to get like the old channels back and all that and don't have to worry about, I only changed a couple of passwords on my ah oh crap <laughs> like on my phone and stuff like that the wi-fi passwords so it won't be too much of a hassle to change back although honestly we're getting new equipment so we're going to be getting a new like modem and stuff anyway so we're going to be getting new passwords um but yeah hopefully it'll be it'll be a nice improvement going back to the way it was what the heck? 
Am I just supposed to damage boost my way through? There's like no other way through there that I can see unless I miss something. Kind of an odd choice. Maybe there was a pipe that went down, but there's so many pipes, I honestly can't be bothered checking them all. <clears throat> Alright, so what's the deal here? Ow. So, I feel like that bomb needs to get activated somehow. But there's also some kind of on-off switch system. Which I'm not really... getting. And nuts. Oh hey! There's a hidden pipe up here. I guess that's where that other pipe leads. At the end there. Whoops, that was a bad throw, my friends. Oh well, I still got some coins out of it at least. And the 30 right here. Yeah, I'm very confused as to what this boss section is. Like, you have on-off stuff on the left, you have... ...fish bones coming out of pipes over here. Okay, something just... ...activated. Oh, that's annoying. These conveyor belts on the bottom are really annoying. <laughs> but they kind of represent, like... a fast-moving current, which is kind of neat. Until I get sucked into the spikes. I don't know why the spikes need to be there. This part's already frustrating enough. Oh, there's a muncher falling on the left. But I don't know what is activating the on-off. Like, is it me doing something? Come on, just one more. Just one more fall. There we go. But I still don't understand what was happening there. Kind of just happy to be out of this level, honestly. The whole the boss section wasn't the greatest to me. It was okay. But nothing overly special. And honestly, just confusing overall. Alright, two levels to go, let's enter this tower. But yeah, so the fact that we're changing back to our old like cable provider and that, which means that I had to binge watch a couple of movies again that I had recorded before I lose them. Um, so a couple of movie recommendations that I have. Well, pseudo recommendations, they were pretty good. Um, not overly special and honestly kind of confusing a bit. But the first one was a movie called Barbarian, which if you're not into horror movies, then you're not necessarily going to like this one. Um, but this one, it takes place in... It takes place in an Airbnb, and the whole idea is this woman ends up in an Airbnb. Am I supposed to lose this now? I don't know how else to, to get this. Oh. Oh, the peas would have blocked me. Okay, I understand. And it would have killed me. Gotcha. Um, so she ends up spending the night in this Airbnb. Um, but not all is as it seems. I don't want to give too much away. It's a pretty good horror movie. Um, but yeah, if you're into horror movies, I would say it's worth a watch. But it's not... One of the one of the greatest I've ever seen. I'm not a big fan of modern horror movies, so holy jeez. These spike balls are just zipping across. And then the other movie that I watched was that was also kind of okay was Well that sucks. I don't know how to get past all of those guys. Have to figure that out, I guess. Um, the other movie that I watched was called The Menu, and it's about this, like, really pretentious chef, 
and all of these people get like whisked off to an island where he's going to prepare this meal for them. Um, again, I don't want to give anything away, but the last sort of 15-20 minutes of the movie kind of lost me with how just strange and the shift in the tone of the movie was just very, very odd. Okay, so how am I supposed to get past this if I can't long jump? I assume I'm supposed to long jump. Maybe I just mistimed it. Ah, oh, there we go. And then long jump here. There we go. But yeah, the, the menu I'd say out of the two, that's the one I would recommend more, but both of them were just... Okay. Hey, we got a checkpoint. Should I kill this one too? I mean, I guess so. I'm just slowly trying to figure this out as I go. I don't want to make any mistakes. Oh, why is there got to be sneaky fireballs? Did not think I was going to make that jump. Okay, I mean, this wasn't a bad use of the Goomba suit or hat or whatever you want to call it. Wait, why am I back here? Did I screw up somewhere, or is something going to change? Okay. So we made it through here. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much death, so might as well just kill myself. Oh, there's a P-switch here! My god. Totally did not notice that the first time. Where'd she go? Pom-pom! Pom-pom! There we go. Okay. Alright, this level wasn't too bad overall. I feel like if I had seen the P-Switch the first time, I wouldn't have gone through everything all over again. But, you know, not the most perceptive person sometimes. First clear? Really? That's surprising. Has there not been anyone that has played through the Super World so far? Well, fair enough. Alright, let's check out the castle. See how this goes. Robo Drill Digger's return. Well, where did he come from in the first place if he's returning? What would a drill digger be? Like, what would you use to represent that? I mean, I guess we'll find out, but... Right now, in my mind, I can't picture it. Oh god, that was a terrible jump. Oh, I can... Wait, do I not get anything for that? 
I thought I would get, like, a, a key or something for that. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, am I supposed to go up here? This is kind of interesting. I'm getting down with this so far. We're just basically climbing a tower, I guess? Now, is there a way to see where I go up there? Oh, it just gets destroyed, okay. Ow, that sucks. <laughs> oh, there's a pipe right here. Okay, cool. And a checkpoint. Can't quite make it up there. There we go. Ow, that darn icicle got me right at the end. Oh god. You basically have to jump on that as it's coming down and not going up. But it's kind of hard with the icicle there. You're gonna get skewered by it. Ah! I mean, I hit it once at least. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot harder, just because of the placement of those icicles. Like, I can't even go for that one, because I'm just either going to get skewered by the icicle or burned by the fire lava bubble. Okay, this one should be okay. There we go. My god, this one's going to take forever, though. Ooh, I got two on that one. So if I just wait patiently to activate that, and then jump... Oh, I just missed it. Oh! No, I got the key. I thought I had one more hit to go. What? I couldn't even reach the top of the flag. Maybe there's a hidden block or something. Well, anyways, that's going to do it for World 2. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. We are going to check out World 3 next time. Let me know what you think about this super world in the comments, though. But until next time, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.